Like any recreational sportsman, ATV riders are always looking for new areas to go riding. Our crews were invited out for a ride in the Fort St. John area in beautiful British Columbia. Located 1,200 kilometers northeast of Vancouver and 654 kilometers northwest of Edmonton, Fort St. John is a long haul from most places, which adds to its mystique. Starting off in 1794 as a trading post, this area has grown significantly through opportunity. The completion of the Alaska Highway in 1942 sparked a population boom and was then followed by the discovery of high-grade oil in 1951 that set the city's course as being noted as British Columbia's oil and gas capital. Taking us out into this historic region, our group was led by Robert Hergut, president of the Moose ATV Club. Yeah, we've got a wide diversity of uh, riding styles, everything from rolling hills, pipeline right-of-ways, logging roads, uh, muskeg, uh, just straight mud, um, mountainous, terrain, depending on where you want to go. There's a wide variety that'll fit everybody's uh, riding style, and even on like the trail that we're going to do today, there's uh, spots you can tour off if you're a little more aggressive than the average rider. As is the case in almost any ride, when the squad comes to a mud hole, it's decision time. Some take the easy way, and others seek out the limits of their machine. This area offered up a great mix of terrain and challenge for all riding abilities. Pretty much around Fort St. John, we've got a little of everything from nice easy trails down the pipeline, uh, out through some of the bush. It can get a little bit muddy and steep in spots, but every, every trail is pretty decent. Probably four or five areas right around Fort St. John to go riding. Um, only a couple of them are we use on a regular basis within a couple hours drive. It opens up a whole new area. Like every within an hour, we can go somewhere different. Half an hour, two hours, all kinds of trails, train, it all works. Uh, I've been here since I guess 1964, most of my life. And uh, what I like about it most is the, the, the freeness of it all. Uh, we still have a fair amount of uh, open area where we can actually get out and ride and play. And, be able to enjoy life uh, the way it's supposed to be. We're in a pretty good situation here. We're, you know, we've got a lot of uh, public land in this area, and because of that, the uh, Forest Service roads and the uh, and the oil field roads, they give us a lot more access to the uh, to the outer extremities of the uh, of the area. I joined a, a local club called BC Club, uh, and that's more for to do more for the quadding community. Uh, Quarters get kind of a bad rap half the time. So to get involved with a group like that and be more involved with the community and get more stuff done, get awareness out there. Uh, it's just a bunch of bunch of big grown-up kids, basically all all out here having fun, same purpose, just to have fun and enjoy the day. Loads of places to run combined with a solid bunch of club members makes for one fun-filled day of riding. Special thanks goes out to the Moose ATV Club from Fort St. John for being such great hosts and offering up an awesome experience in this fantastic part of British Columbia. This pipeline here goes all the way to Kamloops, which is about 900 kilometers away from here. 